I did say this month is going to be insane in terms of content. It's honestly crazier than I even anticipated because of the recent RNG that happened. I already have some secret awesome uh, progress I've been grinding out for this month to show you guys. So I'm very excited. If you guys are super excited for this month, like this video. If it does reach 5,000 likes, I will put out another awesome progress video within like 5 days after this video. Looking forward to seeing what the rice field community can do. This nightmare grind truly lives up to its name of being a nightmare. Uh, we've probably put in easily 400, somewhere between that and like 500 hours. We're at 900 souls, uh, which is basically about 3 kills an hour and uh, about 12 to 1300 groups as well. So it's it's been a long time coming man i say we have put in a lot of work but i won't spoil too much hope y'all enjoy today's video though i think that was a one shot and 146 xp drop is a one shot oh yeah, there it is 86 yep and 157 is 86 so yeah i think i'm gonna go with this setup i guess i'm gonna try some uh, duo nightmare it's been a long time since we tried boom baby already a good start Oh, damn, 920, bro. <laughs> damn, 9 minutes, bro. <laughs> Dance. Into a spin. Oh, that was beautiful. Good luck. Come on, give Mary J a staff. Mary J a staff. Mary J a staff. <gasps> oh my god, dude, you got the skirt. Oh, good thing I didn't get it. I'm so glad I didn't get that skirt. Bro, I don't, I don't want a skirt, bro. Holy shit. Yo, we got the skirt. Put it on, bro. Put it on, put it on. Mr. Mary J, put on the skirt, bro. Hello? Nice, dude. New best in slot for Nightmare, bro. Pog. Hell yeah, man. Nice to see. BRB. Oh, new PB, bro. Sub 9. Hell yeah. Easy. Uh, we're just basically changing our defense so we can bait the boss. Look, I'm gonna put on my bandos and it's gonna keep trying to come to me for a bit. Makes it nice, you know, you don't have to worry about melee hits. Damn, dude, 848. See, what the hell is this? PB? Nice, new PB again. Type please for a drop. Okay, bro, we'll use your voodoo magic. Alright. Please, 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 please. Oh my god! I, oh, oh my god! Harbert! Oh my god! First kill of the day! Oh my god, dude! Oh, damn, bro! Holy shit! It works! Shout out to Prime Wraith, dude. This guy's so lucky at Nightmare. He's like, yeah, I know how it works. Just type please. I type please, and guess what? First time ever. Damn, that's awesome, bro. That is very, very awesome, dude. Oh, look at this. Nice, man. We actually got on the Iron Man. The Mace is technically not best in slot for me anymore. At Nightmare, because with Full Inquisitor, at least I'm sure with at least top and bottom, the, the Scythe actually is a bit more DPS now because uh the crush style is actually really good now with the scythe like before without it as you can see the scythe's crush is only 67 but then you add this into it mm. it just increases by a ton it went from 7, uh, 67 to 91. i'll definitely do some scythe kills again for fun and you know see see if we get some uh nice nice pvs or something but we have two orbs left and i guess the pet but yeah what the full inquisitor said i'm pretty sure our kills are gonna be faster and smoother which means, you know, our, our grind uh, on the last two items, the, the, basically the three rarest things left in, in Nightmares, the orbs and the pet. It's going to be a lot nicer, dude. So, woof, that's awesome. Alright, guys, let me take this time to show you guys the uh, comparisons between full max melee, normal, which is Bandos, and face guard versus uh, Inquisitor max melee. So here's the max hit of the Scythe. It is 48. All right, and here is the max hit of the scythe with Inquisitor. Still the same max hit, so that's very good. That at least means that max hit wise is good. But here's where the kicker comes in. So full Inquisitor has a set effect. They have this new uh, update here. It shows your set effect, 
So as you can see, I have uh, the full set. Now it says, if all pieces of Inquisitor are worn, this bonus is increased to 2.5%. What is the bonus? It is uh, crush accuracy and damage. So not only do I keep the same max hit, I also get 2.5% crush accuracy, which is amazing for things that are weak to crush like Nightmare and stuff. So this scythe is going to be insane. Not only are we getting, you know, this insane crush bonus now with Inquisitor, we also get the extra 2.5% while keeping max hit. Absolutely phenomenal. Alright, here's the uh, max hits of the Inquisitor Mace with regular melee. 53. Now, this is what shocks me the most because I thought the max hit would stay the same, but in reality, it got stronger. So, instead of a 53 with Inquisitor, the Mace gains a max hit. 54. So that means other similar weapons like the Saldor Blade and the Grazi Rapier, it cannot hit a 54. This is the only uh, weapon, like normal one-handed weapon, same you know speed and everything, that can hit 54. So this is, in general, uh, stronger than the Blade and the Rapier just because of the Inquisitor armor. I think I might be one of like 5 Iron Man that has 4 Inquisitor or some, some BS. It's insane, dude. Absolutely insane. I want to find out whether or not the set effect will actually impact Dragon Two-Hander and Seraphim and Godsword. So let's just quickly test the max hit of the Dragon 2H with full bandos real quick. It is a 52. See, Dragon 2H has a crush style, so I wonder if I spec with it, it will uh, actually calculate the boost towards the spec what the inquisitor let me see if i get a new max hit. i do so it should also work with the seraphim and godsword as well but i want to see what it was before because i think i lost the max hit before yeah yeah before i had that it was 67 but now we're back to 68 so that's really nice all right so yeah we're gonna go test out the mace first since i'm most comfortable with the mace i haven't i haven't sighted in a while so Let's just see how this significantly reduced defense is gonna, you know, work. Since I'm only 77 range on this account right now, which is really low compared to like 200. Oh, there it is, the new max hit. Holy shit, a 54, man. So I've been using the Inquisitor full set at Nightmare the past two days for a while now. And yeah, it is phenomenal, man. Definitely a lot faster than what I'm used to in terms of average kills. Uh, most of the kills are always in the low 70 minutes, which is amazing because I think before uh, I was really uh, varying uh, mid 17s to like low 18s. So it's definitely a solid like 20 to 30 seconds faster on average. So yeah, very noticeable for sure. The only downside sometimes is that uh, with full Inquisitor, your range defense is super bad. So sometimes the husk will destroy you and you might have to eat up a bit more. But that's honestly not a big deal. It's well worth the the trade-off, so. Had to reorganize the bank a bit just to accommodate for this extra item, but uh, I'm taking the new uh, overall look. What do you guys think? Okay, the amount of times that I've said I'm probably done with Corp is alarming, but dude, who the hell knew I was going to get this body? Look at my crush uh, accuracy. Oh my god! I have to try out some Corp with this uh, set, dude. This is insane. Holy shit, I, I should be able to spec corp down much faster than before. Come on bro, I'm recording here. I should be able to spec the down corp way faster than ever before. 202 crush bonus and I get the 2.5% accuracy, like come on. We have to try this out, you know. I'm gonna do a few hours and uh, yeah, see how, uh, how smooth it is. But there is a downside though, I have like no magic defense. So um, I'm gonna have to put on my armor right before I reach Corp, so I can actually tank the magic hits, because yeah, that's probably the downside of specking Corp this way, but otherwise, yeah, should be good. What you are seeing right now is a DPS calculator, and the big thing I want to show you guys is the difference in spec accuracy with the Warhammer between two setups. Set 1 is the setup without Inquisitor, and set 2 is the setup with Inquisitor. So, uh, as you can see, set 1 here, is about almost 35% accuracy when uh, using the first initial Warhammer spec on Corp. And here set 2, 
with full Inquisitor. As you can see, it's almost 40%. So Inquisitor is about 5% more accurate than the next best thing. Which is nice because that's an extra uh, hit that would land every 20 attempts. So yeah, that is really, really nice, man. I'm going to have a lot of fun, you know, uh, using our newfound accuracy at Corp, man. I, I might just do some more Corp, honestly. Just because I should be able to save a lot of time. Holy shit, that was fast. <laughs> Two trips landed four spikes. Pretty good for a second kill. Yeah. While I was messing around with Inquisitor Corp, I actually realized that I overthought my Suicide Corp method post-death mechanics. And I can actually pretty much do the same exact strategy that I did before. The only modification, again, is four items when I'm specking and suiciding. So that way, there's only one item for me to pick up. Uh, and that's just a locate orb. So, all I have to do is uh, every time I fight the boss, I just pick up my locator orb and the gravestone will poof and it doesn't matter. I don't actually have to keep it uh, active the whole time. And the benefit of that is that sometimes I don't actually have to suicide because um, I usually don't end up using all the food per suicide anyway, so I get leftover. So yeah, I can go back to just not suiciding every kill and only suicide when I actually have to drop food. Which means the overall corpse cycle per kill is going to be a bit faster again. Okay, let's try this out. <clears throat> We're going to incorporate a uh, Phoenix Necklace to our setup. We often get to quite low HP and uh, I think the Phoenix Necklace would be a nice way to get my HP back up without losing any takes from eating a food. Especially on phase 1 with Inquisitor, I take a lot of damage. So, After extensive testing with the Phoenix Necklaces, it's super nice to bring here for uh, my Nightmare Solos. Just because it only procs at 20 HP. Whereas like redemption is so much harder because you have to go under 10 HP like yikes But anyways, yeah, I can bring about two of them per solo and it works out really well on P1 and P2 Since I often go under 20 HP, but I instantly get like 30 HP back With uh, very low effort, so it helps a lot and uh, avoid cooldown from eating hard food Oh shit, Bloodfell test. Ooh, this is uh, another one-time special because I do want to test out the uh, Bloodfell one time at that uh, Darkmire spot, you know, the OG spot from back in the day. Alright, getting to the uh, new Bloodfell spot is definitely annoying. Uh, does anybody know the fastest way to get here? Because I feel like there's probably a better way to get here. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, uh, the XP per hour is going to be really skewed because I already, already got two of these superiors. So yeah, it says 86k, but uh, I was honestly getting like 72k an hour <laughs> before the superior started showing up, so. Alright guys, I finished the Bloodville task, and uh, I got 33k experience, and um, took me 21 minutes to do. What a can, it was like size 160, 170, right? Oh my god, look at the XP for 94k. So it was like 70 something k. Before the superiors. So yeah, man. Easy 70k an hour on my first try. I don't even know like the best cannon spots and stuff. So <laughs> so yeah, dude. It's freaking nice. Um, Not really for Iron Man though. Main accounts. You got money to blow, dude. Oh, such a good spot, man. I I've had my nostalgia fill though. Oh, damn. Zugtas. Yeah, I want revenge. We uh, failed our... Uh, we died as like the last task. So I'm definitely doing this one. What? Please, die! Yes! Yes! Finally! Redemption round, boys. We did it. Ah, uh, it's nice, it's nice. Last time we failed, but this time we good. No pet! There's no pet! No. Alright, well, that's okay. I, I can always gamble. Alright, dude, we're not gonna milk. We're just gonna go straight for it, because that's not what we do over here. Please, give me the- give me the pet. Let me get lucky. Oh, not lucky. 20 KC. But nice, we hit 20 KC, bro. Elder Staff, this time it worked really well. I actually healed a lot of 20s and 30s this, this time. So I'd say, yeah, man, the Eldritch, um, it's, I'd say it's about the same with SGS. It really depends on what type of player you are at the moment. If you are struggling with prayer, I, I'd say Eldritch is a bit better than SGS. But if you're struggling with HP, SGS probably a little better. So for me, it really makes not much of a difference, so. Oh, Armor Seed, let's go. So I've been slowing down a lot on this upper grind. It just sucks being, 
you know, drive for this item, man, the Ring of Endurance. But now that I'm feeling less obligated to be a nightmare, I'm gonna try to commit to an hour a day of Sepulcher. Uh, that's like, I don't know, eight, 8 or 10 KC an hour or something. So yeah, hopefully we get this ring soon because that's like the last major thing I want to get done in terms of the new content. Oh crap, no, I'm gonna get it. No, oh, wait, yes, oh my god, that was insane. I actually did that. All right, yo, let me give you guys a sneak peek of this hidden area that uh, you can't access yet, but um, you know, maybe, maybe we'll access it one day. You know, potential content, um, the perks of the orb of oculus secret secret item by the way if you guys enjoyed today's video definitely consider giving it a like but anyways thank you guys so much for watching i do have a french chat so if you guys need a place to hang out definitely consider joining ours at mr iron bar and also consider subscribing that way you won't miss on future videos and if YouTube content isn't enough, I do stream all of my live progress on Twitch as well. So consider visiting us on twitch.tv slash Anyways, I will see you guys soon with another video. Take care and bye bye.